hi welcome to my channel it is Josie Josie here I'm glad to have you back again thank you for coming back again hope you're doing well keeping safe doing what you have to do right and keeping your head above the water I know it's not the easiest time for most of us but I hope you're coping well I would like to apologize I don't seem to post as often as I would like to because life happened with the new normal you try to incorporate in a few things as you can with homeschooling and everything that you have to do keeping children and the entire household with you 24 hours a day is a lot of some quite a lot of work having to cook the constant meals a day yeah but we're keeping safe and keeping well and finding joy in every situation that we get to have quality time spend quality time with family I know not all of us have our family with us but i hope we are able to make the most of the time while we still have it learning a new skill learning a new hobby doing something we've already procrastinated and postponed and hope we are using this time right to do that and if you're here on my channel you don't know what i talk about i share some related content at the moment pattern reviews fabric hauls sewing mix and also i thought i'd let you know that i'm taking baths parts in me made may and i'm documenting what i'm wearing every over on my over my instagram account i'll attach a link to my instagram over here if you would like to follow along feel free so you don't miss out on what i wear i'm wearing at first i was on the fence i wasn't sure that i would be able to take part in the me made may considering being in the house i never looked plan to look any presentable I liked anything casual and most of my lounge wear is not is ready to wear bought from the store so I've not gone down the road of making a lot of that cause not at any time have I been in the house for a whole week without getting out when kids go back to school. A few things that come up. I decided to join in. At the moment I actually never made any pledge on what I plan to do but my plan is to wear me made clothes, clothes I've made over the years for the entire month and seeing how many times I needed to repeat clothes because I think that will expose the gaps I have in my wardrobe. Things I know early in the year started off with making more separate because I knew that's what I would need. I needed in my wardrobe. I've tried to sew up a few, still not as many. I've had more plans, but I've at least managed to do a few, which is still good. And I'm trying to sell many times I'll need to repeat clothes and probably to show me give me a wider view of what I need to incorporate into my wardrobe in my sewing and my sewing plans. Yeah, enough with that. And this video is about my March and April sewing mix. Yes, it's March and April sewing mix because I didn't do much sewing in March. What happened? I was in the middle of a patent testing. If you are conversant with patent testing, it was you taking off probably two weeks. So the first test garment, then get the second one. Then also around that time is when my overlook and misbehaved stopped working and I was less motivated to sew much more. And probably I'll start off with the item I made during the pattern testing. And this is the Vivanchi Dolman Blue Top by L Love Notions. And I'm going to probably attach a little clip of me in this top. And this is a pattern drafted for both knit and woven fabrics. And it comes in a dress and a top version. And I tested the, I pattern tested the top version, which I made out of a crepe viscose. Yeah, crepe viscose fabric I bought from my local fabric shop, B&M Fabrics. It turned out really well. It's an easy pattern, easy for beginners however it's recommended for drapey fabrics should you make it out of a more solid a less drapey fabric like like poplin cotton poplin it might end up being a boxy top that won't flatter you i try to attach a clip and this pattern also for the neat versions it's recommended that you sew it up in the likes of need viscose jerseys because still the cotton jersey won't flow drip on the body as good and this pattern is drafted for sizes extra small to 5x and it's definitely like i said neat and woven fabrics and the beauty with all love notions patterns they come with full bust adjustments so if you're one of the ladies who always needs to do a full bust adjustment you're sorted most of their pieces most of their patterns come with pieces 
for full bust adjustment so you don't need to go down that road actually it comes in a shirt length so i made the shirt which is the top length then a tunic length then a dress a knee length dress so with this pattern and the fact that you can sew it up in knits and woven power bricks so you can really actually do a lot with it and it comes in no closures whatsoever so a beginner friendly pattern i'll try to attach a clip here so it just features this the doorman sleeves so grown on sleeves and now i'm supposed to stitch it down and this has you fold it over it's a folded over sleeve it has a thin neck and the banding here yeah and this is the top i'll try to wear it and show you what it looks like and it has a vent here not a vent but a pleat at the front yeah and i loved it and i sold it up out of this colorful red fabric i tend to love red so don't be surprised if you see many of these and at the moment i don't know when this video will go live but black notions has been holding a sale from the 2nd to the 10th of may in honor mother's day so i would attach a link at the bottom but unfortunately i'm not sure this video will be up before then i apologize if it's late for that but it's not too late to look at their patterns they've got so many and at the moment i'm in the process of testing another pattern of theirs that they are re redrafting to add cater for bigger sizes bigger sizes and also make a few changes in the pattern so hope all that goes well i'll show you that sooner and my next make for March was this skirt. And this is the Nina Lee Camden skirt. And if you've been on my channel long enough, you know I had a collaboration with Karen so little time when we made these skirts and reviewed them and showed the various ways we would wear them. I won't go into details about this skirt because I reviewed it here. So I'll attach a card here. Of the video where i reviewed this pattern and also attach a link in the description box about about this particular skirt and the few features about this skirt i used bias binding for the hem and this was just the lining and definitely colorful pockets of the same fabric i'm wearing yeah the pockets match the top i'm wearing yeah and yeah, I reviewed this, I'll attach a link and just in case I keep forgetting to tell you what I'm wearing and just in case you're interested to know, I'm wearing the Ninali Canabi dress. And this gorgeous fabric was gifted, it's a tropical print fabric just down my street, was gifted to me by Minova. Blog post will be on their site in a few months, probably weeks, sooner than I can imagine. I also reviewed this particular pattern because this was the second time I was making it and I made a few modifications. Should you be interested, I'll also attach a link to the video here in the cards and also in the description box. Yeah, and that's what I'm wearing and the leftover fabric made pocket lining for this, for this skirt. So I won't go into details about this particular skirt since I've reviewed it here already. Let's move on to my next mech. And those are actually the only three items I made in March. Whereby I should have had more time in March, but that happened. I think with the overlook I down, I couldn't do much. Then I went ahead and Apple and made the Megan Nielsen Flint pattern. These I loved. I reviewed the pattern also, and I've got a, a video where I reviewed the pattern. So as opposed to going into much details about it, I'll attach the link at the bottom in the description box and also a card there. And this I made out of a cotton satin which was gifted to me by Fabrics for All in exchange for a blog post. And I'll attach a link to the lovely sh shop. It's a local shop in Leeds. But right now the shop is closed but you can buy fabrics from their online store. I'll attach a link to this particular fabric. It's a beautiful fabric. I love sewing it up. And I'll also attach a picture of most of this clothes i know i know i've reviewed this already but i'll touch a picture here of this particular fleet pants yep and then i can say i also had some selfless sewing this month not too much <laughs> it was for my kids and i made do you know when you realize you imagine your kids clothes still fit them until you are spending more time at home and realize actually most of their clothes have grown small because they need to wear the clothes over and over again now that they're not going to school. So I realized most of my daughter's tights have become so tight on hand, probably short. 
and in so doing they are getting holes around the knee area because they are quite tight on us so i'm trying to sew up a few leggings sorry i meant leggings not tight so i sewed up this and i used a look back jersey which i've had in my wardrobe in my stash for a while i remember i used pits part of it to make the black wood cardigan and if you're wondering what this is this is my label that helps them know which side is the back side because i don't want to put labels at the back my labels are not as friendly to the skin they're a bit rough i would imagine they would itch their bottoms if i put them there so i just attach a piece of ribbon then i also sold up two mini hats on pants for the kids and i just wanted to try out their feet because i know my son often the, the pattern fits perfectly well straight out of the box however i find that i need to lengthen it a bit it's quite a tall lad and for my daughter i tried to go with a size recommendation or size up but then i realized i need to make a lot of adjustments modification for the second piece around her bum she's a little bit of a bum on her back so i realized that with this her size six fitted her well because she turned six recently but next time i think i'll need to increase the rise is it what it should be yeah increase the rise in the back to accommodate for a bump and i made this two out of sweat shutting gray sweat shutting i had around but i didn't want them to just be gray sweat shutting bottoms that are similar so i had some ribbing i used some hot pink ribbing and some pink sweat shutting for the buns pocket lining and i used just plain black a uh, plain gray ribbing for the bottom since because i had run out of the pink sweat shutting we all know what the lockdown is doing to us you only use up what you have because by the time you order something online and it comes to you you won't be interested in making that particular make if i don't make i think i will try it on and show it to you and it's there i made the cocoon dress and this is a pattern by simple so i'll try to attach a picture of the pattern over here and this is a basic cocoon dress which comes in short sleeves and elbow length sleeves and it's first appeared i think most people got this copy through the love sewing magazines i never got it when it appeared and i've already seen it loved it until recently around easter time they had a sale a 50 percent off sale so i managed to pick myself a copy it's actually a very good pattern recommended for lightweight medium weight wovens cotton viscose linens crepe and suiting and also stable knits as such as ponte de roma it comes with no closures whatsoever so it's your beginner friendly pattern if you begin and you want to have a good sewing this will take away all the fears that you have because it doesn't have to be fitting whatsoever. I think I'll tr I should try it on and show you how it fits on me. I've changed into my cocoon dress and I've sold up size 8. Yes, I could easily have made up size 6 because, yeah, it's a free dress that ha you want to leave some wiggle room to be able to walk. So this is a fabric I picked up from a shop in Shipley. Shipley is in West Yorkshire, not far off from Leeds. And it's called the chateau they don't have an online presence but they sell a few good fabrics in there at a good price and this is i think a cotton linen blend don't quote me on that i'm not so sure but this is what the the cocoon dress looks like i'll try to pull back it comes to my knees this is the back and it comes with quite wide big pockets they're actually very big it's a free dress actually it feels nice you don't have to worry about what you eat after that it's a beautiful dress and another thing like it has a front seam i was meant actually to sew it i i was meant to sew it on the fold but i forgot to take out the seam allowance so when i tried to attach the first thing it couldn't fit and i remember that i hadn't been clever but however i had a good go at pattern matching if you can tell there's a seam over here but i've managed to pattern match it together and also I pattern matched very well here that I give myself a pat on the back. I'm never keen on pattern matching because I don't want to take the joy out of my sewing experience. But I did it this time because because the stripes are quite bold. If they don't match, they will be quite evident. That's what it looks like. And I'm glad I went for size 8. It's roomy, 
but it's not the worst that can happen to you so i like what it looks like this is the back this is the front and probably next time what i intend to do next time i'll fold off a seam allowance at the front and just make it as one complete outfit it comes with no closures whatsoever and it takes a while, lot of work if you're going to work with the front seam you don't need the front seam for anything because then the back seam the back doesn't have any seam it's sewn on fold it's cut on the fold so you could as well do the same thing because there's no shaping that the seam at the front is giving and it's your beginner friendly cocoon dress if you're interested in it so along with this cocoon dress i intend to make another very soon let me know i could record a video of a so along of this cocoon dress yeah that's it with my March and April sewing mix. I'm sorry that the video is coming pretty late, but, but better late than never. And I'm happy with what I was able to sew now that I've got a new overlocker. I'm back to the sewing. Right now I'm in the middle of sewing. A dress for my entry into sewing for Maxi for Mother's Day. It's a challenge on Instagram which I hope to join in too. So I'm sewing up the dress I'll be showing. And I finalized with the pattern testing for me. Pattern testing for Love Notion. So I hope by the end of May I'll have a bit more to show you. Which is exciting and what I'm up to. I know I don't get much time to sew. But whenever I get a chance to I put it to good use. And I hope I'll be able to come to you next week. With a video of what I'm up to. And I've not forgotten about my plans for sewing active wear. I know many people show their interest in sew along. So I plan to take you through as I make my active wear. That hasn't been put on hold. It's only because you look for. The little time you can get in the middle of the day to and see what you can squeeze within that time but otherwise that's it for me hope thank you for watching and if you go and watch through this video and you're not subscribed to my channel please don't leave without subscribing i try to post a video every week try i aim for a video every week but i do my best and please let the conversation going what would you want to see on this channel let me know and for now, that's it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep well, keep safe, and stay out of trouble. Bye-bye.